Hello guys, this is Max from Hi on Android, where we get <laughs> on Android every day. Anyway, yesterday I uploaded the video about a GSI auto installer. And one of you said, the guy with one plus one eight gaming handle on YouTube said, what are the benefits? Are you kidding me? You don't know what GSI is? Are you serious? You don't know what GSI is? Why do you even buy one plus phone? You're definitely not stupid. There's no question such as stupid. In fact, the more questions you ask, the smarter you get. So what's the benefits of GSI? So traditionally, uh, we would install custom ROMs that's made for, let's say, the OnePlus 5T I've got here. So if you try to install OnePlus 5 custom ROM, it will break your OnePlus 5. Or if you try to install a Samsung Galaxy Note 20 custom ROM on your OnePlus 5T, it will probably break your phone. Now, because these ROMs are not compatible across devices, custom ROMs basically are designed for that particular model of your phone. A OnePlus 5T ROM cannot be flashed on a OnePlus 5. So if you have a phone that's not really supported well, uh, maybe the ROM development is dead, like a lot of the Samsung devices, then you're out of luck. You have no ROMs to install. Oh my God, I have no ROMs to install. What do I do, Max? So a couple of years ago, starting with Android 9, actually Android 8.1, but officially Android 9, any device that started with Android 9, got this new thing called Project Treble support. So if you bought a phone that came with Android 9 or higher, your phone is automatically supporting this new Project Treble. Now this new Project Treble supported phones like the OnePlus 8 Pro or pretty much all the newer phones that came out in about last two, three years, you can flash GSI. What is a GSI, Max? Well, GSI is a generic system image. Basically, it's a generic system image. It's a ROM. Uh, that can be installed on any device that supports Project Treble. So for example, the Galaxy S9, if you have an unlock bootloader, if you have the Exynos version, you could install GSI. If you have a Xiaomi device within the last few years, like the Mi 9, Mi 10, Mi 8, you could install Project Treble. If you have a Poco phone, you could install Project Treble. If you have any of the Pixel devices, you could install Project Treble. Now here's the big problem with GSI. It can be installed on all these phones, but the method of installing, there's not really, uh, it, it's different for every brand. For example, the pixels are pretty easy to do. And even those, you have to really know what you gotta do, what to flash, which files to flash in the right order. And that's why it took me forever to find out how to flash GSIs on the latest Pixel 4s and 3 series. And it was so many fast boot commands, I had to make it into an auto script because most of you would probably get lost. Now, right now I'm working on the OnePlus 5T and the 5, and this is a big headache also because there's GSI flashing methods if you're on Android 9 or 10, and those methods don't work out of the box and people have been flashing like Moki ROMs, Lineage ROMs, and then trying to flash the GSI to make it work. And there's a bunch of, and there's a bunch of patches you have to install to make it work. I still haven't got it to work. I'll figure it out. But the greatest thing is once you have it figured out, you can install all of these GSIs that are out there. So the good thing is that, for example, Havoc ROM, let's say, is not supported for the 5T or the 5 on the latest Android 10. Uh, then you can go ahead and use the GSI and install it on your device. So basically, GSIs are like custom ROMs that can be installed on all Android phones. Now the problem is there doesn't exist an exact step-by-step -step guide to install these GSIs on every brand phone. And with every iteration of Android, for example, Android 9, we had these instructions for installing GSI. Well, guess what? It's Android 10, Android 11. Google has changed so much stuff. Now we have to figure out another way to install GSIs on Android 10 or Android 11. Actually, you can't even install most GSIs on Android 11 based Android, even on pixels. I'm like, what the hell, Google? Why you do this to me? So I hope that clears up your question, but once we can figure out how to install GSI, a flawless method, let's say we figure it out for OnePlus and 5T, then you can enjoy all of the new GSIs that are based on Android 10. And when Android 11 GSIs comes out, you're gonna be able to flash it right away without waiting for the ROM developers who probably left the 5 and 5T scene to buy the latest OnePlus 8 or OnePlus 7. The GSI really help with especially the older phones uh, that 
you know, a lot of the older phones just lose support because most developers are not, de they're developing on newer phones, all right? They're buying new phones. No one's gonna be using a OnePlus 5T in 2020. <laughs> You're like, damn. I got a OnePlus 3T. It's okay, um, but that's what the GSI is for. So you can reuse these old phones and put the latest software, latest cutting edge custom ROMs, basically GSI, and make your old phone run like new again and super fast. So that's what GSIs are. And in terms of compatibility, uh, they're more compatible with ROM, uh, Google-based stock firmers. Basically stock firmers that are similar to Google stock Android, which Pixel is basically stock Android. OnePlus phones are very similar to stock, so they're very compatible. GSI should run flawless once you get it installed. Xiaomi phones also are very compatible with stock Android. Samsung phones, not so much. I mean, I can't even unlock the bootloader on the US models here. Even if you do get it working, you have basic problems like auto brightness not working because Samsung is just not stock Android. They have changed so much things. They don't even use fast boot, which is one of the tools required to flash GSIs these days. Um, so you have to patch, you have to basically patch it into a tar file so you can flash it with Odin. But I will definitely, but I'll definitely try to work on the Samsung devices and try to see if I can make it work real good. If not, your best choice is go with a stock like Android. Now that's the problem with Samsung phones. You got all these older Samsung Galaxy Note 3, S3. Samsung has stopped updating since like Android 6 or 7. So you're stuck with a phone with an Android 6. But had GSI been available back in the day and Samsung did not lock the bootloaders, well now you could have installed GSI Android 10, Android 11, run it easily. So what Google is trying to do is make it so all Android phones can be updated longer down the line without the help of manufacturer. Even now, Samsung's locking their bootloaders. If you have a locked bootloader, unfortunately, you're not gonna be able to make use of any of this new technology. Anyway, I'm gonna end it there. If you have any questions about GSI, leave in the comment section below. Hit the thumbs up and as always, stay.